just like to talk about the Wall Street fashion show, because in the stock market, different groups are always going in and out of style. Right now, everybody wants to get their hands on beaten down cyclical companies that can put up incredible numbers if Europe and China are really getting better. I think they are. But the people buying these stocks need to get their money from somewhere. And that's why the pure growth companies, the ones that can consistently put up spectacular numbers in good times and bad, are getting a lot less love than they used to. However, if you think long term, this kind of rotation can create some terrific opportunities. Consider the cybersecurity space. Now, we know this is a powerful secular growth theme that's not going away anytime soon. Yet the stocks here are all well off their highs because secular growth is out of style at the moment. Which brings me to Proofpoint, PFPT. That's a cloud-based cybersecurity company with a very specific niche. They specialize in protecting their clients' email systems, which tend to be the most vulnerable part of any network. Lately, they've also expanded into protecting cloud storage, instant messaging, and even social media accounts. Now, Proofpoint just reported a magnificent quarter last Thursday. The top and bottom line beat 48% billings growth, strong full-year guidance, only have a handful of companies that had those kind of numbers. These numbers dramatically topped Wall Street's expectations. The company even announced a technical partnership with Palo Alto Networks, the big daddy of the cybersecurity industry that we have favored for so long. Stock rallied three bucks in the news from 53 to 56. But in a more growth-friendly environment, I think this thing would have been up much more. So let's take a closer look at Gary Steele, the CEO of Proofpoint. Find out more about the quarter and his company's prospects. Mr. Steele, welcome to Mad Money. Good to see you, sir. Have a seat. Nice to meet you. Gary, out of nowhere, it looks like only with the exception of a handful of companies that you seem to be trouncing, you're partnered with pretty much everybody, aren't you? We think partnerships are really important. Palo Alto is a great partnership. The McAfee transition has been a great partnership. And Intel. And and Intel and a nice tailwind for our business. Now, uh, you've got the top five U.S. banks and three of the top five retailers, four out of the top five global pharmaceutical companies. Now, this is huge responsibilities, giant companies. How did you get those amazing accounts? Uh, at the end of the day, it comes down to great technology. Okay. So cybersecurity is a big problem. People recognize that. And I think, as you mentioned in your opening, companies are being tacked right. through phishing attacks that come through email. And they need sophisticated technology to be able to identify and block those attacks. And that's where we come in. Okay, so targeted attack protection is something I see repeatedly through all your documents. Right. So uh, I'm a retailer. You come in and you're for me targeted attack protection. What does that keep me from uh, ha- having bad to me? What, what, what does that stop? It stops phishing attacks. So these are messages directed at individuals, oftentimes with a malicious attachment. Right. Could be ransomware or something really bad. Yeah or it could be just stealing some type of confidential information, or it could be a message with a link sending you off to a website that is malicious in itself and steals your credentials, steals confidential information. This is the way cyber criminals are getting into the enterprise right. today. Now, are, are they more sophisticated? I mean, I gotta tell you, the email I have, they usually spell words wrong, it doesn't look very legit. Are you talking about sites that look exactly like what we thought might be like an Amazon or a Wall Street Journal or something like you that? You know, it's the full range. We're seeing a whole category, we talked about this in our earnings, announcement this business email compromise so yes. spoofs spoofs yeah. basically yeah. ceo looks like ceo sending to some subordinate saying hey wire this money or go yeah. send this hr information you know this is one of the big issues today and in those messages there's no malware there's no link there's no attachment that's malicious and so those are hard to detect and people are struggling with us because it's easy to get subsumed into those kinds of scams now one of the things that i thought was interesting is when you started you said you had seasonality now you don't. That's just a sign of tremendous strength, even though obviously it's also a sign there's a lot of tags. Well, I think that there's this broad recognition that this is a problem today. Yeah. And in Q1, we had really good linearity through the quarter, meaning we were oftentimes in enterprise software at all books at the end. We saw very good regular linearity throughout the quarter, mm-hmm. which we were very excited about. And I think it speaks to the strength in the market for us. And as a company, we don't drive our business around big breaches. Right. We have consistent behavior from, a, from the buyers. Okay, that's important. I mean, you, look, it's mentioned in the document, so I think it's fair game. Uh, you're talking about beating FireEye in a bunch of things. And FireEye, I, mm-hmm. I associate rightly or wrongly with when there's an incident. I mean, this is just something that's, you're in a different plane, right? That's right. We've, we have not built our business around those big breaches. Right. And so right. customers are coming to us. They see these issues. They need help. And that's what's been driving the consistent behavior of the company. All right, so talk to me about the Palo Alto partnership, because I would think, I mean, Palo Alto at times has told us we have everything. It's obviously that they didn't, or else they wouldn't partner with you. You know, it's been a great relationship. So we recognize the fact that customers want to be able to share the threat intel and the capabilities across vendors. 
We don't compete with Palo Alto. That's what, what makes for a great partnership. And effectively what we've done is we decide whether something's malicious. We ask Palo Alto whether we think it's malicious, and then we condemn based on that. What's cool is we don't charge anything for this. We just make the world better. And if you use both of our products together, we give you better okay. security. Uh, you gave me a little open here on the world better. I'm reading today, and I know it's far afield, but you know we're going to attack ISIS cybersecurity. Cyber yeah. we, are we that good? We are, actually. We are? We are. Really? The good we guys are, are good? Well, Tell think, me. You know, there is this transition from going from defense to offense. Yeah. And I think we have the ability to do that. Are you, are, well, I don't know if you're allowed to talk about it, but I presume that you know where you speak. Well, we're not, we're not an active participant with right. the government with those kinds of initiatives, but we see what's possible. And you have faith in what we're doing. I have faith in what we're doing. Well, I like that. I'm going to end on yeah. that positive note for Poopoint right. and for the United States government. That's Gary Steele, CEO of Poopoint. These guys really are on fire. Unbelievable. When you get that plus 40%, maybe three or four companies this year, maybe five, Mad Money's back yet to the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.